Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my pre recorded 100 review for Real Housewives of Potomac. Okay, season seven, episode eight. Drink Toss Gate around here caused drama for everybody. Okay, drama is being caused after the drink talk scene around the world. And I'm like, can we all just get along? Okay, look, we can send Mia somewhere. We can send Robin somewhere. They can take Giselle with them or whatever. We don't care. But I just feel like it is just so much going on. And we are over it. We are all over it. Okay? It's just, it got me. I'm like, is Mia, girl, somebody go check on me. Is Mia okay? Is she having a meal life crisis? It got to be something I don't know. But again, this is some foolishness all up and through, okay? But y'all know first things first. If you've not done so already, please take a moment and do what? Subscribe to my channel, okay? Subscribe to my channel. Become a whole J-Bird, J-Bird, don, 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 and don, okay? Because it's the thing to do, okay? Do not forget to also like the video, okay? Comment in the comment section why. I mean, because you should. Okay, comment along in the, the, the um the premiere, comment after the fact, do all of that once you can today. Okay, y'all know who shared the video. Okay, y'all know to follow me on social media at Jamie's Corner on IG and on Twitter. Now I am here. Hey y'all. It is around 2 30 in the morning. Hey, okay, pop in, pop out, okay? Because we know what it's not about. It ain't about me because why my signal still being dumb and I don't have time to play, okay? But let's get into what we can to get into, which is the foolishness around here with the ladies, okay? Now, the episode picks up right where the last one left off. Well, well first of all, first of all, I kept seeing so many people cracking jokes about Mia's skin, I felt like if her skin wasn't that bad, though. I mean, she can use some help, but we all can. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know me. I don't try to make fun of people who have stuff wrong with their skin because I'm like, I mean, God did what he did, even though she can afford to get some help. I, I feel like her scars... Didn't she say those came from like burns from when she was a kid? So I don't want to make fun of that. Okay. I don't want to make fun of that. But I'm let her be. Anyway, so they sitting around the table, still chitting, chat, chatting, chitting. After the drink talks. Okay. So Wendy still pissed. She didn't walk off. Okay. I'm a cut up. Okay. F f being a professor. Okay. I am still Wendy. Okay. I will kick me his ass if you don't get me a hotel room. Okay. Get me out of here. I'm like, okay. That's fine. You know, right now, she just don't feel like being bothered. Right now, she know if you get me around that lady, I'm going to probably drop kick her in the throat somewhere and I don't want to get arrested. Not today. Okay, I got to get back home to my babies. I don't want to get arrested. So please help me help y'all by not allowing me to drop kick anybody and go get arrested in my Miami. Okay, get me somewhere else. Now, me in her car, and she's upset too. Now, I feel like I get both women are in their feelings. This is fresh off of altercation. When people are fresh off altercations, they sometimes feel like, okay, a whole bunch went on, a whole bunch went on. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do. What I do know is, honey, sit down somewhere, okay? Sit down somewhere. Because me in the car telling Karen how, Karen, you didn't have my back, okay? You didn't have my back after Wendy came and assaulted me. No, well, that's not what she said. She said, she said, she said that. She said, Karen did not have her back while Wendy was sitting around talking negatively, okay, being disrespectful about Gordon. Now, I mean, I recall Wendy saying stuff after the drink talks that was, you know what I'm saying, real mean or whatever, but once you toss a drink in my face, all bets are off, okay? I'm really going to talk a whole bunch of stuff and make you feel bad, or I'm going to beat you up. That's all I got for you. That's all it can be. You want me to talk about your husband, you as a as a couple, or you want these hands? Like, let me know which ones you want to handle. I mean, I can do it either way. I can go either way, okay? But Mia was in a car that's upset. And Karen, like, um, 
look, <laughs> y'all both are wrong. Okay, my thing is, you fussing to Karen about not defending you or helping you defend Gordon. That ain't your best friend sitting there. Ain't Jacqueline sitting right there? Yo, ace phone call. You ain't sent you to Jacqueline. Okay, and not not only that, ma'am, Mia, you are a grown woman. You should be able to fully do what. Defend your husband, okay? You should be able to defend him to the high heavens if need be because you married him, okay? You should not be around here making anybody else feel, feel responsible for defending your husband in a fight that you started. You did not have to say nothing to, to Wendy about Peter, but you did, okay? And that started a whole altercation. Now you want everybody to help you defend your husband. It's stupid. Okay, and the Karen point was me. Y'all both were wrong. You talk talk to the drink was wrong. Wendy speaking about your husband or saying that you fucking Peter was wrong. But y'all both played a part in the whole thing. And Karen be fair. Karen be like, look, I'm not trying to pick nobody's side. I'm on the side of righteousness. Okay, I'm on Karen's side. I'm on the grind dime side. That's how Karen feel. Karen is on Karen's side. And saying to both of y'all, y'all both played a part in what happened. Okay? Period. And Mia, you up to upset with Karen. And when Karen said, Mia mad at me about not having her back, but she invited Sharice here knowing me and her ain't on good terms. So who back do you have, Mia? Who back do you have? Nobody's. Nobody's. Okay. Anyway. Um, because Karen, honey, Karen ain't having it. Karen, Karen is over it. You hear me? Over it. Now, back at the table, okay, the ladies still sitting around up there chitting, chatting or whatever, okay? Because we got Karen, Abby, Robert, and Zill talking or whatever. And they all, one way or the other, is saying how both Mia and, um, um, girl, both Mia and, what's that girl's name? <laughs> Me and Wendy are wrong. They they're all kind of sort of saying that, but at the same time, Robin and Giselle is for is, is on bullshit. I think I'm gonna leave my graphics off because I think the signal keep going down when I put the girl. I'm so aggravated that my stuff is acting stupid. But y'all came here to hear me, so I'll leave that be. Anyway, but you know what I'm saying? Robin and Giselle are still making it seem as if Mia is less wrong for what she did. And I don't, I don't get how they can do that, okay? And then when Robin gonna say, well, Karen, you wasn't really trying to defuse the situation. You could have tried a little bit harder. I'm like, is Karen the referee? Is Karen security? You and Robin, Giselle and Robin sat around there and ain't helped defuse nothing. Robin, you were playing TMZ, playing World Star the whole time. How can you feel like... Oh, only Karen did not try to defuse shit. You were sitting up there yelling at Wendy. You're being, a, you're antagonizing her, girl. Shut up, Robin. Shut up. You and Giselle and Jacqueline too, and no one, in my opinion, from what we saw, were trying to de-escalate the situation. Y'all were sitting around there wondering what's going on, and I don't think Karen. Who was sitting in between them assumed or thought at any point in time that Wendy would get a drink toss on her. It was two people fussing back and forth, which y'all do all the time. What did you want Karen to do? At the point that uh, uh, um, Mia tossed the drink, security came. So what you want Karen to do at that point? Security's right there. You and Robin sitting right there. Even if y'all don't like Mia or, who, or don't like Wendy, anyone could have easily defused shit. But no, you up there recorded. Giselle up there ordering snacks and shit. Giselle was up there ordering dessert while they fussing the fight. Okay? It's dumb. Now, we seen Wendy who went and checked on, uh, uh, no, we seen Athy who went and checked on Wendy. And, you know, she, you know Mia wants to go home. <laughs> Wendy said, I don't care. She should go home. You know, look. I'm going to say this, okay? I feel like, you know, this technically, technically, is Mia's trip. So, I wouldn't leave if it's my trip. So, Wendy saying that Mia should leave, to me, does not make any sense, only because it's Mia's trip. This is my thing. And this is not me saying Mia's right or whatever. If I am on a trip with anybody, 
and me and that person get into some kind of altercation, I'm leaving. If somebody invites me on the trip and it's their trip and we get into it, I'm not staying at the house we was at. I would get my own accommodation or I would go home. Because I'm not going to be around here just waiting to beat a bitch ass and go to jail. And if somebody has to be removed from the situation, if it was me, I would leave. I don't want to be hanging out with hoes who I'm fussing with and it's their party. Because when it's their party, when it's their trip, they can do and say what they feel because it's their party. It's their trip. And I'm not saying that to defend me. I'm saying that's common sense shit. If somebody has a trip and invites you, Y'all then get into it. I'm leaving. I'm not staying. Why? So I'm not saying it's right that when you should be the one leaving. I'm not saying it's right at all. But it's what makes the most sense because it's Mia's trip. Now, if this was Karen's trip, if this was Ashley's trip, if this was Candace's trip, if this was rapper trip, if this was anybody else's trip except Mia's, Mia should have been the one to leave. Only because this is Mia's trip is the only reason she should not leave. It's her fucking trip. Now, she was also tripping and was wrong in what she did, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, anyway, so Affie brings up how she felt like, you know, uh, Mia swinging her purse was extra and too much. I agree. I agree. At that point, though, all bets were off. <laughs> Wendy was saying all kind of shit. Wendy was going for the juggler, which is what's warranted. And me, it was just trying to get back at her, trying to fight, swinging that purse, okay? And we like, I did not do nothing wrong. I don't want to be in the house. And she lucky I have my curly wig on because I have my straight wig. And she had threw stuff on my straight wig. I would have been pissed and whooped my ass. I was like, girl, calm down, okay? Now, on the car ride home, Mia, Jacqueline, Robin, and they are all in the car. Basically, blaming Karen for not stopping grown women from fussing about Peter. I was like, how was it Karen for? Let me know. Let me know how was any of this Karen's fault. What did Karen do? What did Karen stop? Nothing, okay? It was stupid. I might see y'all up in that car blaming Karen and Karen over being blamed. Okay? Now, Mia, like, well, Karen didn't have my back. She couldn't defend me. She wasn't helping me. Mia, that's childish. Mia said how Karen did not have her back. She's childish to the top tier childishness, okay? You're sitting next to your best friend who also did not do nothing to help you or stop you from embarrassing yourself. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, Mia embarrassed herself fussing with Wendy over Peter. Peter, who if we if you think about all this shit, is the only common denominator who's causing discourse between the women. Because Peter is messy. Peter messy and Mia stupid. Mia, to me, took the bait of what Peter did. Peter was telling different folks different things to see who would catch on the his shit, I guess, and it was me. And girl, you look dumb. So you can't be up here blaming Karen or saying Karen didn't do nothing, but your best friend didn't do shit either. Okay? She did not stop you from embarrassing yourself. Anyway, Robert and Zilla in the back seat. Yeah, you know, Karen never told Wendy that what she was saying was wrong, that what she was saying wasn't true. Does it matter? Karen don't know who me a fucking. Karen don't know who me a fucking Peter. Why would Karen have to say that Mia isn't fucking Peter? How does she know? We don't even know if, if Juan is fucking Robin. Kate, don't nobody know nothing. You hear me? And Mia and her confessional, you know saying, well, Karen, you know what I'm saying? Karen allowed Wendy to talk about Gordon. Okay, Gordon is your husband, not Karen's husband. Defend your husband. Defend your husband. And again, stuff happens so fast, you sound dumb, Mia. Okay? Now, back at the house, it was Jacqueline, Robin, and Giselle in the house sitting down there talking or whatever. And Giselle was like, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm sorry. Uh, Jacqueline was saying to them that 
Winnie's a boss as a teacher. She's a boss and she bosses both around as a professor. How Mia's a boss in her business. So both Mia and, and Winnie being bosses, neither of them are used to backing down. And my thing is, it's not even about neither one of them backing down. Shit went left when it just didn't have to. And now neither of them wants to just admit shit went too far and Mia should have never tossed a dr- one, one, no, one first thing first, Mia should have never gotten involved w- w- in whatever Peter and, and, and Wendy had going on, it was not her place to go back and check Wendy by Peter, that was step one but step two was you should not have tossed no drink at that lady, period and when uh, we then seen Sharice came in, you know, Sharice was in the crowd with Wendy or whatever. And when Dizel asked, like, so what is she doing? Like, is she going to stay here? I'm like, bitch, why are you talking like you're disgusted that Wendy's in the house? When Wendy didn't do shit. It's, it's the weird girl. It's so weird. They're treating Wendy how they treated Monique. But, but, but Monique, <laughs> but Mia is the one who... Was a who started the shit with Wendy. She's the one who tossed the drink at Wendy. She's the one who tried to rag tag Wendy with a purse. I was like, I just don't get it. Wendy did it's insane. And then we see Wendy leave the house, packed her bag, and left. But again, I would have also left. My thing is this Wendy leaving don't mean she was wrong. Wendy leaving don't mean me it was right. Wendy left as she should have because she's in a house on a trip with someone who <clears throat> she is at odds with. And I'm a firm believer in I would not lay my head in no house with anyone I'm at odds with. Okay, not going to happen. I don't trust you hoes. Can't do it. Not on my watch. We've seen, cra- look, look, we've seen what happened with, Sh- with, with Shanquilla over there in Mexico. You sometimes can't trust folk. And when she pop off, leave. Period. Okay, so Wendy then left and went to the hotel. I'm like, now how did Wendy get a hotel? But Sharice could. Was Sharice broke? Is 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 Wendy at girl? Maybe Wendy with the with the producers. I don't know. Anyway, so the next morning, their conversation. Okay, their conversation with, with these people and those people. First we seen it was Giselle. Uh, Ashley and Sharice had the conversation or whatever. Um, now I just like, well, Ashley, you seem ups- upset, man. Like, I'm like, bitch, a fight broke out. <laughs> a whole fight, okay? The only reason you not is the only reason, in my opinion, that Giselle is not as disgusted as she probably is as Ashley is because Giselle feel like, you know, yes, when he gotta go, you know, because when he, when he was, it's like, no. You sound dumb, Giselle. And then <clears throat> Ashley point is, yeah, I don't like violence. You know what I'm saying? And then Giselle and Sharice go on and say, Well, that's how you felt about Monique and Candace. I'm like, why are y'all I don't get why anybody else, the only one who should bring up what happened in season five really is Wendy. Um, because the way y'all acting towards her, Giselle, Robin, Sharice, um, is just completely different than how Giselle and Robin acted towards Monique and Candace in season five. But Sharice bringing up season five, I'm like, Sharice, shut up. You won't even hear, okay? You don't even go here, Sharice. Shut up, okay? But Sharice bringing it up, I'm like, girl, be quiet. Go say, well, that's kind of con- a con- dick girl, contradictory because of how you acted, you know, with Monique and Candace or whatever. Now, we see the footage of when Monique had, you know, asked Athy to give, like, I think a witness statement or whatever, or was the witness, some kind of statement, you know, for her case. And when Athy just told, wrote a letter about her stuff that went on between her and Candace, <clears throat> it was not any kind of letter defending nothing. It was saying, hey, I've also had issues with Candace. Kenneth can be a bitch. She can also push you to want to be her ass, okay? But as he said, I never condoned or agreed with the fight back then, okay? I did not. I just did what I did, you know, basically to get back at Kenneth. <laughs> That's really what it was. 
<clears throat> but some people do ask people to give character statements to speak towards their character or the person suing them character, okay? But I'm like, that ain't got shit to do with what happened then. And also, when the fight happened with Candace and, and, and Monique, Ashley wasn't there. She was in the bathroom. This time, she was here to see what happened, okay? Anyway, and Giselle, you are literally, you are literally on a different side now than you were then. And Ashley also said the same thing. She's like, Giselle is, was, you know, she said Giselle was 100% back in Candace against Monique back then. Because Monique was the one who got physical with Candace. Okay. You know, she was we all we all so you know, I am not for anyone putting hands on anyone. But this time she back at Mia. Who was the one talking drinks and purses on Wendy? It's crazy how girl is we in the girl was we in the matrix. I feel like um Robin and Giselle must feel like you know ain't no footage. It's like y'all do know y'all TV. Y'all do know y'all on TV. Y'all know? Yeah, so maybe I don't know. Anyway, so um we do see that Candace got there the night before. We saw a little flashback of her coming in and Robin, you know, give her a little short version of what happened. Girl, Peter said he was beefing with Wendy. And then Mia got mad about that. And then Mia confronted Wendy. Okay, and then Wendy did fuck that work. And then girl, she threw a drink. She then goes and shows Candace the footage that she recorded on her cell phone. Because Robin did what? Recorded the damn fight thing on cell phone, okay? And we see Robin also saying to her, well, Wendy was badgering Mia, you know what I'm saying? She, she don't let people talk. She she cuts people off, whatever you're saying. And I have been so angry with Mia before. Um, and I've also, I'm sorry, I've, I've also been mad at Wendy before and wanted to toss, you know, a water bottle at her. I'm like, girl, because you're aggressive. Robin is, Robin is aggressive. Robin is, a, we know that. Robin saying how she wants to be physical with folks ain't surprising me. Okay? So, Candace is like, I don't like the fact that she acting like, you know, what happened ain't no big deal. So, outside or whatever, we see Karen, Ashley, and Candace talking, okay, because they like, well, where is Wendy? Because Wendy ain't, Wendy don't tell. Okay? And so, Candace starts crying, you know, I just can't believe this. You know, it's just so unfortunate. You know, it's like no one sees anything wrong with people not using their words, okay? Why is, I'm like, I, look, I said last week, I said, Lord, if Candace was at that damn fight, she would have 100% started crying and said it was triggering to her. And I'm like, look what she doing, crying, saying, it's just so triggering that people make excuses for people who don't use their words to fight. I was like, look, Trauma's trauma. I'm not going to negate Kansas' trauma. What I will say is, fights happen. That isn't an excuse for shit. That isn't anything in the in defense of Wendy, in defense of Mia, in defense of Candace, in defense of, of Monique. I'm saying in life, sometimes fights happen. Okay? But I need Candace to not make this about her. Okay, I was like, girl, just stop. Because you're right crying. And you didn't even see the fight. But she's saying this knowing that they're making excuses. Okay. For people who don't know how to use their words. You know, it's very triggering to me. Girl, girl I was like, Lord, here we go. Napkin, girl, curled up. I was like, Candace, ma'am, that's where that photo came from. Her crying. Okay. She done she it crying. I was like, please, ma'am. Stop it. Okay. I want you to be supportive of Wendy. I appreciate you being supportive of Wendy, but I don't need you crying because it's true. I, I just don't. Y'all know Kim is not my favorite person. Um, she's growing on me a little, little, little bit of the season, but I'm like, ma'am, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Now Robin see Candace crying from across the pool. Okay. She's like, why is she crying? Why is she crying? You know, she can't compare, you know, her thing with uh with 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 um Monique with Mia's situation with Wendy. Now I say, Rob, you sound dumb. You sound stupid. My thing is, I'm not saying the situations aren't the same. I'm saying she should not be crying because 
nothing happened. She didn't witness anything happen. So what you crying for? For what? I, I guess it's tricky. Okay, anyway, but you know, Robin, like when Mia was wrong for Charles and Drake, and Wendy was wrong for F escalating the situation, production was like, but you're more on Mia's side. And Robin said, well, yeah, because I don't like Wendy. I was like, there it is. There it is. Because in that damn interview she did with the Times or whatever, she was making it seem like I was trying to help Wendy. I did not want Wendy to get herself into some shit or whatever. I didn't want because because Wendy has more to lose than Mia, but you don't like her. You admitting on camera to production that, yes, you are more on Mia's side because you don't like Wendy. So why would you make us think that you were actually trying to help Wendy in the scene of them fussing and fighting? You a liar, Robin. Robin is lying as usual. She's a liar. She, Robin has been lying for, to us for seven seasons. About what? About everything. About everything. So you getting caught saying you don't like Wendy and that is why you're on Mia's side is proof that you know Mia is wrong. But you and Giselle are always just on the side of whoever is against your opposition. The only reason they backed Candace in season five was because they did not like Monique. That's why in season six, they then went after who? Wendy. And now in season seven, they're going after who? Wendy and Candace. A little bit, little bit, little bit. Okay? Anyway, let that be. Uh, Affy. Affy calls Wendy on a little, on a little FaceTime or whatever to check on her. How you doing, girl? What's going on? We want to know. Okay? So, uh, you know, they're like, look, you should be here. You should not. Look, I do not agree that Wendy needs to be around Mia right now. I think both Mia and Wendy need time to calm down, to chill out, to have the time to, to think, think, think. I don't think they should be around each other. And again, only because it's Mia trip, it does make sense for Wendy to be the one to leave. Again, if this was if this was anybody else's trip, I say that Mia should have left. But it's Mia's trip. Period. Okay. So them like you should be here, girl. You know, you should really be here. I mean, we we miss you. We love you. Okay. And when uh Karen then personally invites Wendy to come to the beach because it's, it's Karen's birthday. Okay. So Karen, who was promised a good time, okay, like I'm I'm inviting myself. I want you to come to the beach to see me. Okay, now Wendy, okay, I'll come. Send me the info and Candace then say, Don't let these bitches make you feel like you should be here. I'm like, Candace, shut up. No one should be forcing Wendy and Mia to be around each other right now. The same way no one forced Monique and Candace to be around each other. Both of them deserve time apart. Period. If they was back in Potomac, if they were not on this trip, it wouldn't be a big issue. But Mia invited y'all to Miami for a cash trip. And at this point in time, you know, if they can't be, you know, friendly or whatever, Wendy, this is the one that has to miss out. That's not fair. No. But, hey, if it's my trip, bitch, and we, and we beefing, you going to leave. Period. Anyway. Anyway, so, um, because that's just me. I would not want to be around on someone's trip who I'm beefing with. I, can, I have a life. I would go get my own hotel. You you can't make me leave the, the state or the, or the city or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have to go home. But, I mean, if me and Dora are in the house, fine. Fine. Who gives a fuck? Okay? I'm not just stupid. If I'm a girl and if, if the roles were reversed, I would say the same thing. If it was Wendy's trip and she was the one who tossed a drink on Mia... Mia should leave the trip because the personal trip it is is who your issues with, and they're not gonna leave because they trip. Okay, so this has nothing to do with who it is. It's the it's just the point of that's his life. Okay, so we then see Karen go to tell Mia that she's invited Wendy to the beach. 
uh, and me is well, no, I don't, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And Karen, I love it's my birthday. I want everyone here because it's my birthday, bitch. I'm turning, I turn you know, okay. Mia being childish and petty was like, well, I'm, a, I'm not okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's your birthday. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> Mia then say, well, how about this? How about you know, I spend breakfast with you, and you can spend the rest of the day with Wendy. And Karen, like, that's not how I want. Like, is is it is it that deep? Is 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 it that deep? it's too soon? Karen, it's just too soon. It's, it's too funny. I don't think you know saying it's okay that Winnie is was like was being rude about my husband. Okay? I don't think her being disrespectful is cool. Okay, and she should know that. Okay, and anyone who supports that lets me know they don't see an issue with her being disrespectful by my husband. I was like, girl, and Karen said, you know, me. You, you, you know, mommy, and she said, Well, you know, well, yeah, you know, you know, what I'm saying because in general, you know, you are supporting her, and she was lying, okay. You care about girl, look, Wendy was speaking in anger, okay, but I'm trying to just bridge a gap here, and that's it. Me, like, look, if you want to have a peaceful birthday, you know, it won't be peaceful if I see her, and again, I am agreeing, Wendy. And Mia both don't need to be around each other right now. So Karen called Wendy and said, hey, you know what I'm saying? I can't invite you to the beach after all because I'm at the host. Mia is. And Mia being childish and fucking petty and immature and can't allow Wendy to be this girl. Girl. I don't know why when, when Mia said... You know, she'll be there for brunch, like for the breakfast or whatever, and she can hang. I, I, when me would have said, I won't come to the beach, okay, well, fine. See you later. I would have allowed Mia to not be around so that way the cast can still hang out with Wendy, you know, in the in at the beach or whatever. But I'll meet that be okay. But again, she decides to not invite her to the beach. But then Karen and, 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 and Candace. Make up, you know, they mad to go see her. And Candace and Abby make an agreement. Well, Abby said, you know what I'm saying? Look, we should put our, our shit aside. We, we beefing, I get that. But we should put that aside to go with Karen to see about Wendy to make sure that Wendy's okay. And they agree to stop beefing for right now. Okay? For right now. Now, I was like, what's going on? I don't know. Now we do see a little small thing of of, of Robin acting like uh, uh Candace is being bitchy. I don't get why she being a bitch. I don't know. She acting like I said that Mia was right and 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 Wendy was wrong, and I I don't have nothing. I'm not even involved in this. I didn't say that Mia did. I I ain't got nothing. I ain't got, girl. You was the one recording. You can't. Robin, stop being dumb, dumb, diddy. You are involved. You can't make it seem as if you're not because you're the one who was perpetuating the fact that Wendy kept antagonizing uh, Mia and made things worse. Now, was Wendy talking cash shit? Yes, but she talked cash shit after a drink was tossed on her. Shut up, Robin. Now, in the car... Me and like, where they going? Because again, uh, uh, Karen, Athy, and Kenneth are going to see Wendy, and she's like, where they going? And they said, oh, they're going to go see about Wendy. She was like, oh, excuse me, let me out. Mia, messy ass, got out the car, goes over, opens the door, says to Ashley and Candace, you know, when y'all come back. You have to find somewhere to stay. Okay? And Karen was like, oh, shit. Karen in the back, like, what the fuck is she doing? And it's like, what? What? Are you, are you serious? She's like, you know, because you, yes. I, I, yeah. I was like, no. Mia, stop. Now, Abby, they fussed a little bit. Abby calls, Maddie, uh, calls Mia a petty asshole. Uh, Candace, like, girl, close the door. Let's, let's close the door, for whatever, okay? Now, Ashley, like, me and can't tell me what to do. I'm grown, okay? I mean, she then sent me a text. Uh, this is the text that uh, Ashley sent me. Mia, it's quite rude for you to invite a group of women out 
of state then threaten them by um, threaten them about revoking their combinations just because you don't agree with something they decided that brings no harm to you it is incredibly petty and i will be sleeping in the same room tonight now this is the thing me is 100 percent being a petty ass bitch completely like i get her and karen her and wendy you know not wanting to be in the same house i get that that was an altercation you had no reason to athlete and, and Kenneth. they came i'm like first of all bitch this kid's never been well she do not want to go but like who does that for bitch what and the fact that first of all athlete then called me a a, a a ratchet asshole i'm like is that is that colorism because she called Another light skinned woman, a ratchet asshole. Now y'all, y'all, now y'all be. Oh my god, I can't believe. Cause look, so is is, is she color? Is it colorism? No. Okay. Anyway, I want to be sure. Cause had she said it to Candace, oh my god, she's. I don't think that be. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, but Candace in the car, like, girl, look, I'm not leaving a house. I was a that I was um, invited to because me is mad about having big feet. I was like, but that big feet. Look, look. <laughs> I can't. Anyway, but again, my thing is, I don't stay where I'm not wanted. Mia is 100% being petty. She's 100% being dumb, childish, all those words that don't make no sense, and reacting when she should not have. But a bitch got, got one time to tell me that I can't stay where we at okay I'm, I'm i'm leaving i'm leaving i'm leaving and i'm done period i get me out of here now okay anyway um not in the car me and get back in the other car i can't believe them i can't they thought they can go and see wendy and come back and be the house i paid for again petty ass bitch. but that's also why you have to be careful who you go on trips with because people get power hungry and want to throw that bitch. You don't run shit here. You want to put me out? Okay, I'll leave. Mia did that hoping they would beg her to stay. Bitch, I would not give you the satisfaction. You know? All right, cool. I'm done. Leave me fucking be. Okay, bitch, I'm good. Because what happened, what's going to happen is once you see how dumb you be, you going to owe me an apology. Okay. Okay, now we do see Karen, Wendy, and Anthony all meet up. Karen, with Karen, Wendy, Candace, and Anthony meet up. Um, to talk. Okay, I was like, girl, girl, Mia, you're not Mia. Um, what's the girl name? Wendy, who was in on that Versace. I was like, girl, come on now. Anyway, so Wendy said, like, look, I was really, I'm hurt. I'm hurt because you know what I'm saying. No one should violate somebody else's in a in a in a space. No one should come around here violating my personal space. And she did that by calling some drink on me. And then after the fact, you know, she tried to spend that purse at me or whatever. You know, it was a whole look. My thing is once the drink was tossed, shit was gonna go left from both women. What Wendy was saying, Wendy trying to lunge at at, at Mia, Mia lunging back. It, it was gonna happen. But the starter was Mia's ass coming at Wendy about Peter and tossing that drink. So I agree with Wendy saying that nobody should be around here, you know, violating my personal space. Okay, that's why it made me hurt. Okay. Now she also wrote up how and all of Peter, she did all this over Peter. Girl, I know Peter Peeker, Peter, Peter Pumpkin Eater. Okay. Uh, but this is the thing. She then said, because Peter, Peter told me. Peter told me that he was real close at one time with me and Gordon. But then one time, me and this snake shit to his girlfriend at a time. And since then, him and them, you know, Peter, Mia, and Gordon have not been that close. And I was like, again, so Peter told Mia he beefed with, with, with Wendy. He told Giselle that he was not really trying to work with Wendy. He then told Wendy that he fell out with Mia. Do all of y'all not see Peter playing all of y'all? Y'all all around here fussing and holding runners and, and, and jaw jacking over bullshit started by Peter. Peter 
literally told each of them something about somebody else in the group. Peter told Giselle some shit, Mia some shit, and Wendy some shit, which made Mia, Mia side eye Wendy. It's now making Wendy side eye Mia. It's making Giselle side eye Wendy. It's crazy. But no one, none of the ladies are saying how Peter is the fucking messy ass man. He, Peter's the goddamn culprit with him and me. I'm saying Peter is the worst. Peter is the worst. Period. At this point, Peter's gonna have to be the reunion. Peter did Peter did all this shit to get back on the reunion stage. He can't tell me this. Okay. Now we did not hear whatever snake shit Mia supposed to be did. She did not reveal that. Okay. But I'm my girl. That's crazy. Okay. So when they find out that Mia has also told them they can't sleep there, they's upset. I can't believe it. No, I don't want to do it. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> when like girl, when you say Mia's on a power trip, okay, she's on a whole power trip, whatever. You know, she's not a real boss. You know, you can't put on a blazer and some heels and be a boss. Okay. I, you know, I don't, I, she don't read books. She probably angry at shit since uh, one, two, three, buck of my shoe. Girl, she ain't said that. But she, she, know, she said she probably has not read a book since Dr. Seuss. The cat that had it, whatever. But I wrote a book. Okay, I'm a boss. I'm like, look, 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 look. I don't like nobody should try to downplay people's shit. If Mia is a boss of that clinic that got stole, at one point in time, she was a she was a boss to the clinic that got stole. Wendy, you been a book writer? Cool. Fine. People in prison write books. Who cares? Okay. I'm my girl. Leave it be. Did anybody buy Wendy's book? I didn't. But did anyone buy her book? And if you did buy it and read it, was it good? Let me know, okay? But again, look, we're not going to downplay, you know, Mia being a book writer, a candle maker, and teacher. We're not going to downplay, because does anybody want her candles? I don't know. Let it go. Anyway, we're not going to downplay Mia uh, being a boss of that clinic that got stole, okay? Leave that be. Anyway, on the beach, okay? Oh, on the beach, it was, who was it? It was, um, where was it? Uh, Giselle, Robin, Sharice, Mia, and Jacqueline. So they're sitting around talking. I can't believe that, girl. What is wrong with you? They see at these texts, okay? The text right here. I ain't going nowhere, okay? So they're like, girl, you know, I agree. I would not also want to be out the blue being moved from my room or whatever. So Sharice, not Sharice, um, that's what that's what Giselle said, okay? Now, now Jackie, her, Jackie, who was her best friend, you know, Mia has Mia can be petty. You know, she she's just but when your best friend is saying you are a petty person who is making folk not stay there because you petty, your best friend ain't she. Hey, I would not my friend ain't petty. No, she's great. She's wonderful. Okay. But Sharice, like, look, Sharice, like, look, fuck all this shit. Okay, fuck all this. Okay, look, I'm going I'm there with sister now. I'm gonna send a text, okay? We're gonna all have a good time. So Sharice sends a text back. This is Mia's assistance. Mia apologizes and spoke out of turn. Let's have a good night and enjoy the night. Smooches. Okay. I was like, girl. And they got it. They laughed or whatever. Okay. With the group text. Anyway, Mia, you know, I just get so tired of being nice. Okay. I just am tired of being nice. I have the tendency to be uh, a, pe a people pleaser. But people come from my family, whatever, I cut them off and they're dead to me. They're just that to me, okay? And my therapist said, you know what I'm saying, because I have so much trauma from my life, you know what I'm saying, that I, that's why I write fuck off and I don't care. Now, again, it's funny that they're up there, just, you know what I'm saying, sympathizing with Mia, because when Monique spoke about how she had trauma from her life, that made her, you know, that, 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 that put her in the mindset you know, that caused her to fight kids. No one cared about her trauma from her child. But, oh, me, oh, yeah, we, girl, we know we get all, yeah. Yeah, we, get, girl, shut up. Okay. Now, they then asked about Karen's party, which Mia was supposed to be hosting. I'm looking like a little white party. And Mia said, look, I think Winnie should host it. At this point, I'm like, see, Mia, you're on bullshit. You are trying to make everybody else suffer and kind of bow down to you if anyone is being nice to it. Girl, you with Mia, 
I think Mia thinks she's Giselle. I think we know Giselle gets away with murder on the show, not by the fans on the show. I really think Mia thinks people don't like Wendy. So they won't care that she's been a complete bitch to Wendy. You are sadly mistaken. Okay? Because the way you're doing it is the most weird, childish, petty bullshit I've ever seen. And it's dumb. Like you that's why that's probably why she cut off her social media. Because she knew shit was gonna get worse. Girl, me it is dumb. You know what I'm saying you want Wendy to handle Karen's party now. You told Wendy Wendy gone. That's what the girl. I just cannot. I cannot. And just there, like, look, Karen. I mean, uh, uh, uh Mia, If you have an issue with Karen, let's talk to her. You know, have talk to her. Let her know how you feel. I'm like, not Giselle. Not Giselle trying to be rational. Girl, hell, mother falling over. So. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. They on the beach, dance around, dance, 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 dance. Okay, and Robin says in her confessional, "I don't see, I don't see any cancerous lumps on Mia's butt. Hmm, maybe they all healed really fast." I was like, "Bitch, not Robin questioning Mia's cancer, or at least the lumps. You know what I'm saying? The lumps she had." While siding with Mia about when talk about a middle aged bitch who is unhappy in life and be the lie and fucking with her, okay? Because girl, I can't believe it. Now, my thing is, how you know the lunch she had this wasn't on the ad she that was out? Maybe it's right up, and we don't know, but I'm like, why are you looking for the goddamn on lunch on her ass on the girl? Anyway, um, we do see Candace. Candace. And um, who Candace took Wendy with her because they had the lunch that she had with them girls over. Uh, but Candace goes to the studio to meet with Trini. Candace, you know, wrote, I think that she's re releasing that album. Look, y'all know I don't, I don't really like that lady. I don't, okay? Um, but I'm trying to be open mad to her this season. I have not fully listened to her. I, I, when the album came out, I, I gave each song a good 25 seconds, and that was it. And I have not went back and tried to hear shit. But she re released the album, I think it's a new song on there. And her manager and them got Trina to do a feature. The song is called Insecure. I have not heard nothing of the song besides what they play on the show or whatever. But she's very, very happy. Boom, right here. So we're very happy to go meet up with Trina in the studio, her and Wendy. She was very, you know, overwhelmed, very proud of herself. Okay. Um, that's a good look. Candace, girl. Um, Candace was very emo. Candace is Candace is trying to do what she loves, which is music. And I feel like she's being successful at that as a beginner. I think she is still on that path, okay. Um, because she had folk who like her music or whatever. Trina loved the song and, and don't know whatever. There was great seeing Wendy be very, 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 very supportive of Candace or whatever. Because Candace is doing what she wants with her talent. Okay, see, I was nice. I was real, real nice. Okay, so congrats to Candace or whatever on the song, this and that. I think she's touring too. So, you know, kudos. Congrats, congrats, congrats. I'm saying leave that be. And even seeing Wendy and um, it was it was Wendy and uh, Candace walking away so happy, honey. And when they did the damn Wendy girl, they did the Wendy slither. I was like, bitch, not the Wendy slither. I cackled. It was cute. Also seeing them just get along. It was a, it was a cool moment. Not that they be that they be beefing or whatever, but I feel like you know what I'm saying. It's all the bullshit around here. Okay, so it's cute. Seeing her in the studio with Trina, you know, hearing a bit of a song being played, you know, seeing how happy she was and how proud she was of herself. Cool, cool, cool. Great, great, great. Okay. Now, I want y'all to take one second and like the video.
because liking is always the thing to do. And y'all know I need to tell with my nose. Anyway, so Karen gets back to the house, okay? Karen gets back and we have this scene, okay? We have this scene of her talking with Mia, okay? Because, again, Karen is getting back from, you know, meeting up with Wendy, which made Mia upset, okay? And as Giselle told her, if you're upset with Karen, just talk to her, have a conversation. And so she went to talk. Now, it was Karen, Jackie was there too, but I cut her out, um, and Mia. Now, Jackie then said, you know, Karen, you know, Mia's just in her feelings about you, you know what I'm saying? And y'all going to see Woody. And I'm like, why? Why does it matter? For what? And Karen, like, look, Karen, like, look, this has been a birthday from hell because people keep pulling Karen in like it's up to her to fix shit between. I was like, for why? Why is any of this being put on Karen? Why is me and her friends because someone went and seen Wendy? Bitch, you went to the beach, so what? Leave me be, okay? Anyway, now me, like, look, you know, Karen. You know, you've been trying to straddle the fence. You've been straddling the fence, okay? You want to check on someone who was not on up to doing anything wrong. It's, it's the following day, bitch. No one has had a chance. So you ain't on up nothing either. As far as we know, how are you more concerned with anybody else? Look, when you do something that you know is wrong, only focus on you handling your shit. You make it seem as if Wendy is the one that had to come around here and say, you know I me, mean? I am so, so sorry that I said after you told a dream of me that are you fucking Peter? I am so sad of myself, okay, that I wondered if you are fucking Peter because you came at me about him. I am so sorry, Mia. Like, why do you feel like that that's what Wendy has to do? And then to make it seem as if anyone going to check on, on Wendy is wrong because Wendy has not owned up to her half. But have you owned up your half? Every time someone said, girl, it's your fault too. You push that part. Well, no, but it ain't about what is about you. You can only handle what you do. Period. And when she you know, was loyalty, you know, loyalty is I was like, girl, ain't no fucking loyalty. Leave me be, okay? And Karen, like, girl, I am not. <laughs> Look. I am not showing no fence. Okay, I am not at all. Okay, Winnie is alone in a hotel somewhere where y'all were both wrong. Y'all were both wrong. And if the road reversed, I will come check on you too because I'm not into no childish ass bullshit antics. Karen is 59 years old. Karen is like, I'm not finna get involved in this, this shit. Why do y'all keep trying to involve me in y'all shit? Literally for what? Okay. And when me and then say to that, because Jackie was like, you know, can we not, can we just not do this? You know, can we not make it this? Because Mia was pushing the issue as if Karen was actually wrong. And Mia looks dumb for pushing girl. I feel like me me and my girl, what me and may try to not come to the reunion. Cause me gonna have so much to answer for. Just for these couple episodes, okay. But when me advances the deck, you know, if anyone came for you, you know, then I would be, I, I would ride for you because loyalty is everything. Care like girl, loyalty should not be about people doing what you want them to do, even when you're wrong, okay. Period. And me, like, I mean, I mean, can't like look, you know, me wants folks to ask her permission as if she's queen. But she ain't, ain't but one queen around here, and it's me, the fucking queen. I am queen. I was I was prom queen, okay? She is the grand dame, okay? It's only one queen around here, and that's me. I don't ask permission for nothing, okay? So, Karen, I look, well, do you still want me here? Because me is talking as if she don't care. Because do you want me here, Mia? Well, yes, I want you, Karen. But, you know, I feel like, you know, I should not be the one to host your birthday. I said, bitch, no, 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 no. Mia really said I should not be the one to host your birthday party. I was like, girl, 
If I was Karen, I would have I would have flipped the goddamn bed. I would have flipped the bed over. Okay. Me and said because it's a slap in the face for all I've done. You know, it's a, it's a slap in the face, Karen. Karen, like, girl, look, you know, Karen said, girl, you do not have to throw me no party. I look, I got roses from my husband. I got a cake and a candle. I, God is good. Okay. God is good. You don't have to do shit. You hear me? Anyway, and we see Karen getting up to leave out because of good shit. Girl, you was on. Mia, wake up, Mia. No, you wake up, Karen. You know what I'm saying? You wake up. You know, I had a private cabana on the beach that was supposed to be for you, but you was out here siding with the wicked witch Wendy of the West. You picked your side, Karen. Wake up because Wendy's gonna. She said, "Wake up because Wendy is going to uh, have it out for you." I was like, "Why?" So, girl, Mia, girl. I just feel like you can't you can't want to be popular with Giselle and them so bad that you're trying to go at who they have issues with, i.e. Wendy and Karen. Like you can't want to be picked that bad. You are making yourself look horrible this season. Horrible. Because the same way. Giselle and Robin use Candace and her beefing with, with, with Monique to get Monique and them to the fight, and then Monique let the show. The same way they helped get Monique out of there, the same way they're trying to get Wendy up out of here, you will be next because you are a flip-flopping ass insane person. You're tripping. Okay, you are fully tripping. Stop, Mia. Stop, repent, repeat. Stop, repent, repeat. 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 Stop, repent, repeat. Because the way you're going, your ass will be hated more than anybody else. Okay? You sound dumb. Anyway, y'all, that was the whole episode. Okay, do not forget to do a couple of things around here. To subscribe to my channel. Okay, to become out there, Jay Bird. To follow me on social media at in this corner on ID, also on Twitter, to like the video. Like the video, okay? Go around here and hit share, too. Okay, I was here. Let's see. Hey, I was here. Okay, it is now what time. It is 3.27 in the morning. I will have this up tomorrow, either around 1 o'clock or maybe around 3 o'clock. I don't know yet, okay? But, hey. Yeah, anyway, so. Have a good evening, okay? Do not forget again, like the video, share it, do all of that. I will be live tonight, probably for a gossip chat uh, tonight around 9.30 p.m. Come around here for that. Anyway, I gotta go. I love you all. Bye!